When is the best time to sell your house? Well, you know, Russ, that's a question that we get asked an awful lot of the time, isn't it? It is. Like, yeah. when is the best time to sell my house? And what do you think your what what's your typical answer? <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Well, kind of, but let's talk about like when is the best time to sell your house because a lot of people think it's in the spring and that may not be true. It may not be true. All right, so stick around and we will let you know when is the best time to sell your house. Yeah. Uh, here we go. And welcome back. Hello. Hi. I'm Kimberly Mann. And I'm Russell Mann. And we are realtors here in the Racine, Kenosha area, southeast Wisconsin. We actually cover, cover all of Racine and Kenosha County. If you don't know if this is the first time you've been to our channel, that's who we are. And every month we do a specialty video, correct? Yes. Like every month we do all sorts of different kinds of video that aren't actually very real estate, real estate. But every month this is a very real estate video. Yeah. And why so? Well, because we want to see the stats. So we want to look at the stats and I know some people will think it's boring, but it shows the trends of how the market is moving. Um, you know, what prices houses are going for, whether the prices are going up or indeed down. Sure, but then when people ask us, when is the best time to sell your house, that becomes a little bit of a problematic question to answer. What do a lot of agents, let's, let's talk about what a lot of agents say when they say, when they say, what is the best time to sell your house? What do a lot of agents say? Spring. Spring, right. Yeah. Absolutely. The spring market, because buyers have had their tax returns and they're heading into the market to buy a house. Yeah, but that's only first time home buyers. Yeah. And I think the problem with taking it from that perspective is that first time home buyers are not the only people buying houses. Indeed not. And no. so I don't think spring necessarily is, but we're going to look at the stats here for April and let's talk about that and how that's compared to the first quarter of of the year. All right. So starting yeah. with in April, we have um, the average list price for homes was 257 249 That's the average price. Taking all of them together, average that out, 257.49. And the average sale price was 223,884. Now that's the best sale price that we've seen to date in 2024. Yeah. So for this year. So, so what that tells best. me is the best time to sell your house was last month. Yes. Right? Because <laughs> do we know what houses are going to sell for in May? No, we don't. Right. So, uh, you know, this is a thing with hindsight. You could um, say, oh, so I should have sold my house last month, then I'll keep it off the market till next year. Well, no, because next month could be even better. Right, exactly. May actually could come out with some really great stats and some really great information. And the problem, I think, is when agents then act as if they know for sure what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, they know for sure. This is what's going to be. This is what it's going to be. Um, I know your house can sell really great if you list it in the spring. So a lot of agents will say that you should always list your house in the spring. Is Do you think that's a truth, Russ? Not at all. And why? Why is that? Well, otherwise realtors will be out of work because they have to work <laughs> all year round. But the main reason is houses are selling all year round. Whether it's January, whether it's December, we've sold houses, you know, coming up to Christmas. Oh, I can remember exactly a few years ago, we listed a house for somebody who was moving right after Christmas. Yeah. And we literally listed it at what I would consider to be the worst time of the year, which is a week and a half before Christmas. Yeah. Because people are not out looking at houses They're at not. that time, except... In his case, it was the right time for him to list for them to list their house, and it went stunningly great. Yeah, it did. It went it sold really great. Away. It did, and that was partly because um, it was the right time for them. So it was the right time for them, and it was the right time for the buyers that came in on it. And you know, we put some marketing in place, and we had an open house, and. 
we got the buyer. So, you know, we sold that house. Yeah, and we sold it really quickly, but it wasn't because it was the quote-unquote right time that everybody thinks is supposed to be the right time to sell your house. No, at all. It was the right time for that seller and that buyer. Right. So looking at the stats, April of this year so far is when it has been the best month to sell. Um, but what's also interesting is that we actually have sold there in April. There were 50 houses sold, which was actually less than in March. March was 59. April was 50. And yeah, there were 68 new listings because a lot of people have yeah. bought into the thing of sell your house in the spring. Right. Yes. Yeah, so, the, you know, in March, we had 58 uh, new listings. In April, we had 68. Yep. But only 50 have sold. Yeah. So we actually listed more and sold less, which is actually really helpful for the market. Yes. Because what that does is it brings in some buyer confidence because buyers then have a choice and they're like, and that actually drives prices up a little bit. And I think people yeah. don't understand how all these factors sometimes work together. Yeah. So I would say, um, and then if we look at the absorption rate, the absorption rate this year went up from last year as well. It was 0.67. And now it's 0.7. Now that's less than a month still. And we really need that to be three months yeah. to even be close to a healthy. I mean, when we look at the absorption rate for this year alone, the highest was in February, which is 1.01. .01. Yeah. So actually February had the highest absorption rate, yeah. but it also had the lowest sale prices. So yeah. that's not necessarily a good thing in that case. But we really do need to get to where absorption rate is closer to three months mm -hmm. rather than 0.7 of a month. Um but we had some really great sales prices. Days on market also. I mean. Yeah, it's the lowest we've had this year. It was 15.9 days on market. Yeah. So that's fantastic. Yeah, 15 as opposed to last year, we had 22 days on market. So mm -hmm. it does mean when things are selling, they are selling and they're closing as well. That's what it tells yeah. us. Because 15 days on market means that some of them are going after two or three days or a week. And then that means they're closing. They're not going back on the market and having to remarket if it's 15 days as the average. At least most of them aren't. Yeah. So two weeks on market and the house is sold. So the nice thing about that is that it should give sellers some confidence as to... Um, that when they do put their house on the market right now, it is going to sell in a reasonable amount of time. It's yeah. not going to take a whole lot of time, which also means that if somebody is not sure, if if their house hasn't sold in a couple of weeks, they might want to be thinking about adjusting their price. Yeah. Um, maybe talking to their agent about what marketing they're actually doing. Now, let's talk about the very last stat that we love to talk about. And quite honestly... This is my favorite, but I'm going to let Russ talk about it because Russ is actually the one who runs this number every month and he's the one who gets astonished by what's going on. So Russ, yeah, take it away. So currently the sell to assessed running for Racine is um, 148.88%. Now, if you don't know what that means, it's basically we take an average 25 houses we don't do it on price or anything like that. It's just totally at random. 25 sold properties in Racine. And we calculate the average sell price against what the tax assessed price is. So what your city has your house valued at comes into play here. Now, in this case, we do need to make a bit of a caveat because we've all in Racine now. Should You should have, if you live in Racine, you should have received your new assessment for 2024. And this sale to assess number is based on your 2023 assessment yeah. because even though it's been published to... Um, to each individual person like that has gone out to us like we got ours just last week um even though that's gone out to everybody um it doesn't mean that it doesn't show up on the MLS. it doesn't show up on the not just the mls it doesn't on show up on properties. wire data it doesn't yeah. show up on the county records that doesn't actually show up on the county records until next december when the tax mm -hmm. bills go out to everybody yeah so that's that's why that's a little bit different the city are going to look at these numbers 
and eventually think, okay, we need to put the taxes up. Well, see, and it's not just that they say we're going to put the taxes up. What they say is we need to. And one of the reasons why people's assessment in Racine went up this year is because these numbers have been trending in the 140s. Yeah. And so in January and even last year, we saw these numbers trending at 135, 140. So when the assessor went out and did re-upping the assessments, that is one way for them to get more taxes. That means that whatever the city have assessed your house at, you can... Times Safely. that by one and a half. And that's if you have an average house for your neighborhood. It yeah. doesn't mean that your house has to be fancy. So, for example, if you live in a neighborhood like one of the downtown neighborhoods and your house mm -hmm. is only assessed at 100000 you should be looking at listing it for about 150 if your house is in good condition. Yeah. It doesn't have to be in stellar condition. It just yeah. has to be in good condition. And now we don't go over the Mount Pleasant stats, um, but we will give you a couple of stats for Mount Pleasant and Caledonia really quick. Um, the list price in Caledon in Mount Pleasant is last month was 503896 and the sale price was actually 353 To be honest with you, Mount Pleasant is crazy right now. Yeah, They are really overlisting their homes and then they're dropping the prices. That's not the way to do it. Caledonia is more sensible. Even though they're yeah. still overlisting their houses, they're still only like, so with Mount Pleasant, they're overlisting their houses by almost a hundred, basically 150,000 overlist as an average price. And in Caledonia, they're less than 100,000. Like they're at, what is it, 85? 420 is the list price, 335 is the average sale price. Yes. If you, and people are still not quite getting that in Caledonia, but it's worse in Mount Pleasant. Mount Pleasant, you are overpricing your houses significantly and horrifically. So you need to stop doing that because it's actually costing you days on market and you're not getting any more for your house. In fact, what's happening is the longer you're on the market, the more likely you are, the longer it's going to take. And just to give a point to that, in Racine, it's 15 days on market is the average days. And in Mount Pleasant, it's 27. So almost yeah. 28. So that's what's happening is it's taking you guys a lot longer. Same thing in Caledonia where it's being overpriced. Um, it's, you know, um, it's 27, it's 27, days, there as well. 27 days on market. And actually last month it was 51 days and 61 days. And like this is actually 27 is actually low for Caledonia. It's actually the best this it's year. It's the best it's been this year, but that's still not. That's not great as far as like getting the yeah. price for your house that you want. So in some ways, this is kind of ironic and unusual, but Racine is actually doing the best on this particular it metric. Yeah. So I will say this. If you are looking to sell your house or you're looking to buy, one of the best things you can do is watch these videos every month when we put out our updated stats for the month. And the reason is because it will educate you as to where things are. Also, if you are looking for the stats for your particular municipality and you want more of the details, we only touched on the two on two stats for Mount Pleasant and Caledonia. But if you'd like to see a full spectrum of the stats or you'd like a CMA, just reach out. You can do that by Kimberly at TAMTHomes.com. You can send me an email and we will, Russ or I will sit down and do an analysis Good. of your property and we will also send you out the stats for your area. So if you don't want a specific for your property and you just want the general stats for your area, and some of the things out in the county, we actually have to run the stats based on the quarter. We can't really do them based mm -hmm. on, um, we can't really do them based on the month. And the reason is because if there's so few sales, um, basically the way it works in data is that the more data you have, the more accurate your stats are. Anything else that you wanted to say, Russ? No, that's about it. That's about uh, it for us. So if you think you're not sure about what we talked about at the beginning, when's the best time to sell your house? Well, the best time to sell your house is when you're ready. And when are you ready? Well, when you know that you don't have enough space anymore, uh, you know that that house doesn't fit your needs anymore. That's the best time to to sell your house and to buy a new one. What we're saying here though, folks, is that the best time to sell your house as any agent should be telling you, the best time to tell to sell your house is when you are ready. There is no other good time. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't matter whether it is fall, spring, winter, summer, houses sell all year round. There are always buyers out there. And right now there are buyers looking diligently all year round. In fact, there are buyers who have been looking for over a year. Thanks so much for joining us today. If you got any value out of this content, do us a favor, click like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of our content. And we will be back next week with a not stat and not real estate type video. In fact, next week, Russ and I are going to be doing a video about the marinas in Racine. Join us again next time. And thanks for joining us. Bye for now.
Bye. To say is if you if you got any valve blah blah blah. If you got any blah 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 blah. Yeah. Bum 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 bum. <laughs> Whew, maybe you should say it. Said it.